praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, tonight is my night. Please lift your voice and pray. Let tonight be my night in the name of Jesus. Tonight is my night. to encounter your power lift your voice and pray tonight is my night tonight is my night in the name of Jesus Someone still praying. Sabrateke paratu shalakata prendege de balakusiata. Hallelujah. Philippians chapter four and verse six says, "Be anxious for nothing." Anxiety is a dangerous spirit. Be anxious for nothing. He says, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, he says, let your request be made known. Don't assume that God knows it. Let your request be made known. In one minute, can someone vocalize your expectation tonight? Lord, this is why I'm here. I'm here because I love you, but I'm here because I know you are able to lift. You are able to heal. Go ahead and pray. And supplication with thanksgiving. Shapakatos kateprendege baratos yata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, tonight we are here again. We worship you. We honor you. We believe in you. Jesus, you are the son of the living God. And we are here because we believe this is true. We adore you and we worship you. Oh, come, let us adore you. Oh, come, let us adore you. Oh, come, let us adore you. Christ. For he alone is worthy. For he alone is worthy. For he alone is worthy. He cried. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you already for the mighty miracles tonight. Thank you for the testimonies. Who comes to you and goes back the same? Do the sick come and remain the same? Do the oppressed come and remain the same? You are the God of heaven and we honor you. We will continue to make the nations know that you are dependable. We will continue to sing your praises. The praises of your wonder-working power in the midst of your people. We will teach one generation to declare your praise to another. 
until the knowledge of the glory of the Lord covers the earth like the water the sea tonight we come to you with full assurance and expectation knowing that you are able and you are not only able you are willing thank you Jesus help us tonight and as always let Jesus be glorified in this place amen and amen welcome to a miracle service for the month of August in the name of Jesus God bless you let me appreciate everyone following online following from across any and every nation and for those of us who are here thank you so much people have come from everywhere and I sincerely honor and appreciate everyone the Lord bless you the Lord honor you be prepared for a miracle that will transform your life in Jesus name please be seated second Corinthians chapter 4 we just have a, a short moment with the Word of God and then we'll be ready to pray and experience the wonder walking power of Jesus I believe in Jesus I believe in everything he said I believe in the fact that he's a miracle walking God hallelujah praise the Lord every time the Word of God is about to come ensure that um, we obtain grace from God to discipline ourselves and listen to the Word the difference between a herbalist and the Holy Spirit is that the Holy Spirit comes to honor the Word a herbalist does not preach to you before he gives you what he gives to you he's not interested in what you know but when you come to Jesus the word precedes his power hallelujah praise the name of the Lord while I prayed and prepared for tonight the Holy Spirit put a very strong teaching in my heart to prepare us as we receive I really believe that God will do wonderful things tonight yes you see the power of God will always flow for as long as the conditions are kept there is no depletion as humans every time we use our energy or our strength there has to be a system of renewal God does not need renewal there has never been any mention of God needing a time of retreat for renewal of strength the Bible says has thou not heard has thou not known the everlasting God the Lord creator of the ends of the earth that he faints not neither is he weary and then he says there is no searching of his understanding hallelujah and so tonight Let's look at 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 18. Please pay attention. Jesus is teaching us now. Let's read together if you can see. Ready? One to read. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Very powerful scripture Paul is teaching the church in Corinth and this is what he has to say that there are two dimensions of realities there are things that are seen and there are things that are unseen please pay attention that it is possible to look at the things that are unseen so we have things that are seen and we have things that are unseen now either ways he never said that the things are unseen are unreal just because the optical eyes cannot see them or it has not yet manifested in this three-dimensional realm it and then there are things that are unseen and paul gives us an information that is very comforting and instructive here's what he says for the things that are seen are temporal powerful but the things which are not seen are eternal what does that mean that means that everything you see is merely a child 
the real mother that brought that child is in the realm of the spirit everything you see paul is speaking now provided is an experience that has come to this realm he says there is a possibility of changing it this is a very comfortable it's a very comforting scripture because it then means that any outcome that is currently at work in my life that may be unpleasant or inconsistent with God's character that under a certain condition I can change that reality is that true by looking at a reality from the unseen realm and bringing it to superimpose on this realm so I can see sickness I can see poverty I can see failure even if I cannot do anything about it the first message of hope is that it can change listen it is dangerous to be in a situation where you know nothing can be done about it so the he leave how it will change leave including what you have written that there is a certain condition listen please pay attention I want you to really understand this that means conditions sponsor transformation now if you're not science-based I apologize but science physics teaches us that matter can change states is that true an example is water you can have water in three states it is still water but there is a condition the condition that makes for ice if it remains ice will remain ice forever but that you can actually change the condition you don't need to touch the water just change the condition and it can change its state that means that if your situation remains the way it is it is because there is a condition that makes it conducive now the assignment of the power of god is not just to touch the situation but to create another atmosphere you see now conditions change outcomes you have to understand this conditions when a condition is set outcomes can change very very powerful medicine or different fields of science teach us when they give you an injection you have malaria or you have whatever it is when the doctors give you an injection what are they doing they are not merely passing a liquid into your body no no those they listen research institutes all over the world spend days and spend millions studying conditions that's what they do they study the conditions that make certain organisms thrive in a human body they study certain conditions that make society remain the way it is so we invest a, a research is merely a, a scientific process or is a sociological process that studies conditions because that's true please pay attention so malaria has a condition there are times that we say there's flu in the air what do we mean that for some reason the atmosphere has made the condition conducive for these organisms you don't have to believe in them they will look for you because the condition is right is that true and you find out that people are having flu or maybe an outbreak of some sort of sickness within an environment and then if the atmosphere changes and the conditions change either that sickness that organism will go or something else will happen so conditions are very significant everything depends on conditions everything so when doctors and research experts have spent years decades even centuries studying the human body for instance and studying the conditions that become conducive for certain sicknesses certain illnesses and it is based on the knowledge of those conditions they have designed drugs is that true they have designed all kinds of things so that when they inject it to your body what does the drug do the drug does not speak 
The drug does not think, but the drug was programmed. When it enters your body, what happens? It begins to alter the condition that makes that organism conducive there. That's what begins to happen. Very, very powerful. There is a condition that keeps poverty conducive. There is a condition that keeps sickness. There is a condition that keeps failure, that keeps retrogression. Is that true? Yeah. And once that condition changes, I'm explaining to you what Paul is saying. That your focus should not just be on outcomes. Every outcome is dependent on conditions. So if an individual cannot walk, we create a name for that condition. Is that true? We call it lameness or we say he's paralyzed. And then we try to create a way of remedying or at least supplementing for that condition. There are times that the condition will get so bad, maybe there's an organ failure. They may even have to fly you out of the country. Why do they fly you? Because of a condition. So when you say something is wrong with a man, you are simply saying there is a condition that has been introduced to your life. Are we together now? Wow. Why do you call a sinner a sinner? A sinner is not a sinner because of his body, not because of his color. There is a spiritual condition that that person is in. When the person gets saved, what is salvation? You have changed the condition of that person too. Is that true? This is powerful conditions. The reality of the fact, I'm drumming something in your mind tonight that everything can change under specific conditions. Science has postulated all kinds of theories. They have told us scientifically speaking that everything is made up largely of energy and matter. Is that true? expressed in time this is it the forms of expression may change but intrinsically science has succeeded in telling us that everything is energy matter expressed in time that is it if that is true it also means that everything is connected to everything because if they come out from the same origin it means there is a condition the possibility of transformation should exist listen very carefully to what i'm trying to teach you watch this if a growth begins to come out of my body here the mass that increases it does it come outside of me where did that swelling come from If the mass goes down, where did it go to? I'm not talking about a surgical procedure that removed it. That you have a boil or something. Let's use a boil. And then a doctor gives you an injection. And you keep watching and it keeps going down, going down, going down right or maybe you have a sprain or something and then your leg increases in size why did the increase happen what was responsible for the increase and now it went down so science the the two the two authorities that help us in knowledge is faith and science and both of them agree that under certain conditions things can change is that true do you agree with me so I drop a potato on the ground and I create a condition and I return back after a few days. What do I see? The potato begins to grow because the condition was made. If I do not want that potato to grow, I don't need to hurt the potato. I need to study the condition that fights growth and creates that condition. Are you getting what I'm saying? So when he says, why we look not at the things that are seen, 
but the things that are unseen for the things that are seen are temporal the word temporal means subject to change not under every condition under specific conditions what does it mean listen human beings are largely victims of conditions what does it mean to be cursed look at this come if i say i cursed this gentleman what did i do did i did i remove his clothes did i change his name did i change his complexion what did i do i programmed a condition and we call that condition a cause are, are you getting this now so this man is working physically but he's under the influence of a condition and this condition has been authorized to make certain things happen and certain things not happen so anything that is evil and can destroy him the condition has been programmed to call it and welcome it anything that can bless him the condition has been created to drive it away so we found a name for that condition bad luck his cost or whatever it is so if i bless him did i change the color of his skin did i change his name did i change his speech i introduced a condition programmed in that condition is the ability to drive certain things programmed in that condition is the ability to attract certain things we all of the names that we call good things are simply ways of identifying conditions what is favor a condition where pleasantness the help of men come to you listen if you know this then you really understand the assignment of the word of god because when the word of god begins to work with the anointing let me tell you what they do the first thing the word of God in partnership with the anointing does is to scan the conditions of a man's life. Because it knows that every outcome, this family is not moving forward, they are not going forward. It's not so much about the devil. Demons are also experts in creating conditions. When they create those conditions, they defend those conditions to make sure that the victim remains in that state. Are you following so far so transformation only happens when you create the enabling conditions the enabling conditions for instance there are children that when you give birth to after a few years they don't grow normally for instance there is a name given to that condition is that true because ordinarily a child should grow so the doctors begin to investigate what could be wrong then they will find out that something is malfunctioning in that child's life if they have the wherewithal intellectually and financially they can correct or manage that condition now scientifically speaking when when doctors look at a patient I'm using medicine since it's applicable to all when doctors look at a patient and say sorry we cannot do anything about your situation what are they trying to say that means we are limited in this art of creating conditions for health we have done our best through the studies that we have received but this situation right now we know that it can change under a certain condition but we are yet to properly put in place the condition that changes that situation what is education education is creating a condition that makes for enlightenment is that true when you submit students and help them and teach them across a field of study or a, bo a body of knowledge so when enabling conditions are created transformations begin to occur there are times that agriculturists have to come and study a soil is that true and they teach us in agric that there are different kinds of soils 
Even the Bible attests to the fact that there are different kinds of soils. That when a sower sows, as powerful as the seed is, the seed requires certain kinds of soils. Hmm. Conditions. Now, very quickly, please pay attention. The Bible lets us know that principally speaking, the agency that is responsible for creating or altering conditions are words. Follow my discourse. We're about to pray. So, he gives us the Bible now. Let's us know that no word is empty. That words are not just speakings in the air. Is that true? That every word spoken by men, animals, beasts, it carries a level of energy in it. Let me use that expression or power as you may say. Every word, regardless who and where it came from, once it is a word, it carries a measure of energy. And there are certain conditions it can change. Hmm. Two scriptures. Proverbs 18.21 The Lord is helping us. See, when you understand what I'm teaching, you will understand the dynamics of miracles and the supernatural and supernatural manifestations let's read together please one to read it says death and life are in the power of the tongue uh-huh and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof one more time please death and life are in the power of the tongue hold on it never said the power of the human tongue it never said the power of the believer's tongue provided there is communication there is a release of a certain degree of energy the only thing is that sometimes the energy may not be sufficient to provide the transformation needed so if a man speaks there is something that word can do there are other things it cannot do there is no word spoken that is barren Matthew chapter 12 and verse 37. This is from the lips of the master himself. Matthew 12 and 37. Koinonia, if you can see it, let's read together. One to read. For by thy words thou shalt be justified. And by thy words. One more time. For by thy words. And by thy words. That means all words carry a certain degree of energy. How does a judge vindicate someone? Does the judge come and hold him? The judge sits down in that position and makes a decree. Just one word. You are acquitted or you are guilty. Somebody can literally be sentenced to death. Who is ten times stronger than the person who is speaking. But one word, you are hereby sentenced to 30 years in prison. And for the next 30 years, you will not have the opportunity to see the world as you know it again. Because the word, not from God, not from a spirit, the word from a man, backed up by an institution, have been brought before the court of law. And one word coming from a judge, accredited. The moment the judge speaks, the judge has not spoken. They are there, but they will not do anything. And the judge strikes that hammer and makes a statement. One statement, and that's it. Someone is on his way to prison, and you will remain there. Even if reason and by any means, they want to bring you out of there. Nobody will just come and open the prison and bring you out. It will take somebody to creating a condition. They will have to examine the facts around your life. Lawyers, am I speaking correctly? You say, let's look at this case again. There must be a loophole. And you find a loophole. Connect it with something the constitution says. And that becomes a system of amnesty. And you can bring the person out. Words. Every man's condition remains the same. Until words come into your life words 
change people's outcomes by changing the conditions this is very very powerful all words carry a degree of energy now watch this the principle of changing conditions or introducing the energy that changes the state of anything listen carefully they are words what then you see why the word of god is powerful the word of god is powerful because every man's word carries the power of that man a judge's power does not carry a doctor's a judge's word does not carry a doctor's power is that true a judge's word carries a judge's power a doctor's word carries a doctor's god's word carries god's the reason why we call the words that come from god the word of god is because number one it comes from him a revelation of his thoughts but number two it is backed up with his power those who manufacture drugs when you buy um again let me use the medical people when they're about to give you an injection almost everybody here has collected an injection in your lifetime is that true yes sir including babies if you've been alive for at least one year you would have collected some sort of injection now watch this the doctor does not just bring out his, a syringe in his pocket and give you no he will first show you there is a liquid somewhere is that true and then they have a way of cutting it and they put the syringe draw it out and then they give it to you now those who manufactured it usually will put their name or something that represents them there the injection may not come from them but they are putting their credibilities on it so they put it there and once they inject you you go knowing that that injection came from the intelligence of so 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 and so company i trust them you may forget the doctor but you may not easily forget the name like you cannot remember the name of the doctor who gave you chloroquine but you know chloroquine <laughs> so the administrator of that injection is not as important as the manufacturer of the product are you getting it now yes any doctor who has access uh i, I need to call something that we're well let's use chloroquine then forgive me i don't know if it's at work or not but let's just use it now once he is a doctor he can hold that syringe and give you the injection because the content of that liquid is more powerful than the doctor are we together there are times you can have many injections but they tell you that the drugs or the liquids are scarce for instance right now there are all kinds of vaccines they are trying to get across they are not getting injections it's easy to make injections local productions can have injections but the problem is the liquid is that true that's what people pay for what does this tell you that pay attention please words i was talking about the words of a man carrying the power of that man the words of a father carries the power of a father within the context of his home is that true if a father stands and tells the children stop what happens his words carry his power but let the man stand just 100 meters outside of his house and shout the same stop his words no longer carries power because he's not within the jurisdiction you see that there has to be another condition upon that man for his words to go that far for instance if he becomes a chairman of the local government then he can now stand the jurisdiction of his influence has increased the president of a nation can stand anywhere within the physical territory of his the geography of his authority and he can speak and it becomes law is that true no president can travel to another nation and speak there why because the condition there is a condition that governs his authority in this case the condition is jurisdiction 
when you understand this you will know how powerful the word of god is for you to know how powerful the word of god is you must know god because the word of god is a representation of the power of god it is god now speaking in your life question what condition can he not change because medicine has done its best to create conditions agriculture in fact right now i once watched a video one time where they were growing crops and yet they were not planted in the soil this this is a recent technology they were growing you know, but not planted in the earth but in the crop's mind it is still in the earth because the scientist said what about the earth really makes the crops grow because it can be the sand and they were able to pick the the vital components and reproduce it and even without touching the earth the result started creator of the universe what can't you do what can't you do Jesus the name above every other name what can't you change what can't you change hardest condition to change on earth is a sinner's condition this is what Jesus himself said that is easier to say take up your bed and go than to say your sins be forgiven so whoever has the power to use words and change a sinner's state and a sinner's condition that person must be all powerful and jesus the son of the living god when he rose up from the dead he said all hail all authority in heaven and on earth is given to me not only power over death not only the power of life but the power to change conditions has been given to me it says go therefore go with that consciousness that you have received from me not just the power to give life alone not just the power over death but i give you power to change conditions as you go preach saying the kingdom of heaven has come if you see any condition that does not look consistent with what i am saying remember that you have power through words to change that condition this is a miracle every condition is a function of time changing any condition is also a function of time if a doctor begins to treat you sometimes they can tell you you will take this treatment for six months is that true it will take six months for the condition to change other times three days other times five days how fast does the word of god change conditions let me tell you the word of god is quick and powerful sharper than any two-edged sword it's in your bible john chapter 1 verse 3 may your faith be fired up tonight john 1 verse 3 please give it to us media john chapter 1 verse 3 read it with me please one to read all things were made by him hold on hold on hold on if all things were made by him it is also safe to say all things can be changed by him look at me ladies and gentlemen have you had times where the manufacturers of cars recalled certain vehicles because they manufactured it and they discovered a default and they will honestly tell you from everywhere Europe America Asia they recall those vehicles because they manufactured it you can only change what came out of you keep that scripture there all things how many things were made by him another expression it is him that created the conditions for everything to be made and without him that means outside of his influence was not anything made that was made please try to understand this all things were made by him your lungs your brain 
that part of your body that is being plagued by demons now it was made by him and the bible says outside of him if you ever see anything exist it was made by him if it was made by him it is safe to say it can be changed by him when you buy products if it's from the manufacturers there's something they have they call it a warranty is that true usually it's a year or two they give you a warranty that if you have patronized us or the authorized dealers if for any reason there is a default in this product you can bring it to the authorized dealer. all things were made by him and without him was not anything made made there does not just mean physical creation all godly millionaires were made by him and without him was not anyone made all kingdom driven politicians were made by him all great families were made by him is that true if it is true that he is the maker of all things it means he also sustains the power to change anything now that is the part that is really really very powerful if God made what he could not change we're in trouble because there are certain conditions right now that if they do not change we'll be in trouble imagine if he made the Sun alone and there was no night imagine if he made dry season alone look at the power of God in nature one moment we are dancing outside and even sleeping outside the next moment there is rain coming still on the same earth one moment the ground is hard the next moment you can literally dig it with your hand God reminds us even using nature that the maker is also the changer he can change men he can change conditions he can change seasons Are we together now yes when you understand this you will no longer be afraid of explaining the supernatural can be explained even scientifically there is a dimension of it that may not be explained but basically you are introducing an energy into a life into a space that changes the state of that matter sickness is a medical attempt to describe the condition of an individual based on certain outcomes certain features is that true health is also the name given to a condition when we say you are healthy what do we mean it's a name that was invented to describe a state and a condition and the bible says the word of god sustains the power isaiah 55 let's start from verse 8 very powerful to 11 it says for my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your ways my ways saith the lord verse 9 for as the heavens now watch this he's showing you the dynamics of how his word works it says for as the heavens are higher than the earth so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts verse 10 for as the rain aha uh -huh, watch this now for as the rain that means you want to understand how my word works use geography study the rain for as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not thither but watereth the earth and makes it to bring forth and bud that it may give seed to the sower watch this do you know what god is saying he's saying this water coming to you as rain has always existed in the clouds but not as water it's existed as what vapor when it goes up it condenses if you want it to come down what happens you will change the condition there it can't come down as vapor it only goes up as vapor water does not come down as vapor so if you want it to come down as vapor there is something you do to that water and it comes down and when it comes down it will now water the earth when it is done with its assignment does it still return you change the condition again and then it evaporates back 
he said that's how my word works verse 11 now so shall my word be that goeth forth it leaves heaven as something else but by the time it gets to the earth realm the holy ghost empowers it and it comes in a form so it is his word it may leave heaven as be healed but the moment it gets to your life the holy ghost holds it it's not just be healed that enters your body it enters your body and begins to search for anything that looks like sickness when it corrects it it will return back again because it will be sent again he's saying every word that i send does not return until it achieves the purpose for which i sent it remember what i taught you every man's word carries his power a judge's words carries his power a military man's words carries his power a man in that word is the power to change conditions hmm. conditions thou son of david have mercy on me and then he says what should i do that i may gain my sight and he ministered and the centurion said no i know how these things work i am a man under authority i also have soldiers under me you too you are under authority the words that you speak carry the authority of the kingdom you repeat. that same hour the bible says at that same hour the sick was healed what then a miracle it happened when the word of god you see if i speak by my strength as a man you will not get zero results there are some results you will get for instance so you, you won't get zero results but the kind of miracle you are looking for now the wisdom of men and the words of men cannot produce it are you seeing this now yes so i am like that syringe remember my syringe example now yes the syringe does not really matter you look at what is about to enter your body this was not made by some earthly research institutes no it is the word that created the heavens and the earth i hope you know that god is an expert with fixing things that are wrong genesis chapter 1 from verse 1 and 2 it says now the earth was dark and void and formless what state is worse than that and the spirit of god said don't worry we are used to this we know what to do with this condition the spirit of god began to hover around and then verse 3 and elohim said light be what was the result there was light the first manifestation of the word of God and his power if the Bible says and God said let there be light and we didn't hear anything it means we should begin to get afraid it means there are some things now you see why the Bible keep, kept emphasizing that everything he said he saw he said he saw you know why so that you will trust the words and the power that backs that words that when God says it he will see it that means whatever you want to see it is your assignment to make God say it because if he says it ending him that he has said it he has said it in his word and he will make what he has to be celebrating here every deliverance every breakthrough it has already happened according to scripture but we need to make it happen in our lives in experience and it is when we remind him of what was said then he now says it again by the holy ghost let it be the spirit and the bride say come why should you be surprised that someone who came here confused with doors closed by next week returns back with all doors opening now you understand remember my teaching on conditions closed doors is a condition it's not about the door it's a condition the door does not want to close or open it does not care if you lock it it will obey you and remain closed is that true how many of you have tried to close a door and it refused to close 
because something was wrong with the condition that keeps it locked so you check it up oh i made a mistake and then you change the condition and the door obeys you everything that has disobeyed you is still obedient let me repeat everything that has disobeyed you is still obedient you have not found a condition that makes it obedient everything if resources disobey you they have ever been obedient provided they came from god disobedience cannot come from god everything needed for life and godliness that came from god is still obedient your assignment is to understand the condition that activates that obedience this is the assignment of the word of god and this is the assignment of that enforcer called the power of god so as the word of god comes i have taught you here that the assignment of the anointing the energy the power of god the the anointing of the holy spirit has no assignment if the word of god has not gone forth because the anointing is merely an enforcer and a confirmer that means that if god says let healing happen the anointing moves to make what he said come to pass are we together now this is why words are powerful look how i'm listen listen this thing i'm teaching you is an office i'm not just teaching you an information i learned somewhere there are people sick right now as i'm talking they are still feeling the pain there are people oppressed you wouldn't believe the kind of back the, the truckload of demonic spirits oppressing people they are hearing me as i'm talking now i mean the spirits now and yet they will not go why because what I'm saying is not the word that sends them yet. You see. Hmm. So when words now come. When words come. What do they do? The Holy Spirit rides on those words into your destiny. And conditions start changing and sometimes the conditions change so fast i'm saying this so that you will believe if not you will not be able to receive anything apostle as it is right now i'm feeling this pain yes you are right because there is a condition that keeps it there but do you believe that with one word something comes into your body there's something called anesthesia is that true and Anastasia, I, forgive me doctors, forgive me. Oh, the doctor is not here. Do you know that they can give someone that injection and in a moment you will not feel pain around that area again for some hours. Am I correct on that? What did the injection do? Thank you. But you know the pain will come later on. It's just that it's not needed for that time if science can be that fast and accurate that you inject someone immediately and you can even be carrying out the surgical procedure and the person is looking at you what happens when the word of god now comes into that system don't ask how will the eye condition go don't ask and don't think that this thing is some faking of no we are talking the word of god here so you came as a whole family apostle we don't even know what the we don't know what is wrong with us we just know that things are not working welcome you are in the right place You are in the right place so when that word is sent the word of god comes and starts looking at your entire family and with digital precision okay failure disfavor yokes immediately in seconds it diagnoses it but it does not stop there it will start creating the conditions that makes those yokes and those causes to go and the impact is so powerful i am talking here and yet it will throw you physically on the ground i didn't push you up. i'm here talking and something is happening in the realm of the spirit and it comes like a plane landing on your destiny
listen I'm not just entertaining you we are going to pray but beloved people listen the supernatural is real conditions can change let me repeat myself conditions can change when people reject you they are not rejecting you there is a condition you are carrying that makes them reject you when you are failing and fa he fails man of god you may be in ministry no increase no results respectfully speaking there may be a condition but when god speaks he said let there be and there was he said let it change that's why you see people return with all kinds of testimonies you think Joshua Selman in his power and strength is able to do this? No, no, no. But I know this mighty God. Not only because he appeared to me, I know. When Jesus appeared to me, I did not open the door for him to enter. I don't even know how he entered. The door is just for you. He entered anyhow. Don't ask how it will, he will enter your body. No. The doctors will say, lie down. And they will have to go through that incision and now begin to meticulously help you. But the Holy Ghost, oh, come on, please, please, please. When I ask you to lay your hands, it's only a point of contact to help you, not help God. Ask the Holy Ghost how he entered the womb of Mary. He did not appear as bread and said, eat and it's me. No, no. Ask the Holy Ghost how he entered back into Jesus to resurrect him back to life. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Now hear me please. Everyone, I want you to look at the condition you have now because that is really what we have come to deal with. We, you call it sickness. You call it delay. You call it failure. You call it confusion. God calls it conditions. Abuja is a good land. Your territory is a good land. But it does not mean you will just be blessed like that. There is a condition. You can work for 30 years under the same condition you will have the same outcome. What does it mean to encounter God? It means to have an encounter that changes your conditions. Please find a way of believing what I am telling you. So you are sick. Apostle, right now there is a situation. I'm having HIV. I'm having this. You are right. You are only describing a condition. But watch the wonder working power. Not the word of a man. Not the word of a monarch. Not the word of a, the military. The word of God. When it was time for Jesus to resurrect the dead, he said, Lazarus, if he just said come forth that would be rapture immediately because his power is sufficient to raise every dead body he had to mention the specific person because that word was going to enter the realm of the spirit so when the word entered the realm of the spirit who is Lazarus here you are the one come out I was sent to bring you out The powerful thing about faith is that faith can make you claim any name. So if God speaks now and says so, so, so person, faith can tell you is your name too and it's your condition and God will honor it. Because what he says to one, he says to all. So you don't just sit down praying that you should call your name. Lord, just speak. That's all I want. Let me hear what you are saying and let it dear relate to my situation i will not let that word pass me by listen when the word of god comes because i'm about to pray for you now you have a responsibility number one do not just think it is a man talking no no i am only the voice echoing that word 
that word is coming from the throne with fire with power with grace i may not know your conditions how do i stand here as a man and now begin to call your name and your conditions it does not make sense humanly it doesn't make sense scientifically but when the holy ghost takes over you see so as healings and deliverances and all kinds of supernatural manifestations of the spirit come number one don't be distracted you must be focused god is walking in the midst of his people whether you are in any of the overflows down to the basement you are outside you are following online anywhere at all it does not matter we are talking jesus here Benny Hinn calls the Holy Spirit the unlimited presence of Jesus. I believe in miracles. I believe that a condition you came with, you actually can leave it there. Yes. So when prayers are going on, don't just be looking at other people. If you are sick in your body, you must believe that I'm ready to be healed. You have some lump, some growth. Don't sit down and say, how will it disappear? I've taught you. It's just an interplay of energy and matter. It is true. Some terminal disease, HIV, whatever blood condition, maybe genotype, whatever it is. Don't say God cannot heal you. You're here, you have all kinds of bone conditions. Don't sit back and say, look at the size of my bone. Can I walk? brothers and sisters we are talking the Lord Jesus Christ here exalted as both Lord and Christ how about impartations some of you are in their need of many graces graces that create new conditions you cannot be walking in a territory and everybody is looking at you as if you're a piece of rag it means there is a condition that is responsible for that mockery and that shame and I'm telling you in the presence of God that condition can change when you say it's my background what you are simply saying is there is a condition god can give you another condition there is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary there is a stillness in the atmosphere oh come lay down the burdens for in the sanctuary God. so as a normal human being you can hug you can shake you can greet but when Jesus comes, you will be amazed. The same words you were hearing from morning now does not become the words of a man again. When these words begin to come, please listen to me. I want you to just imagine light coming from the throne to your life. And what is it doing? Changing conditions changing conditions and you check yourself and find out just like a dream is gone just like a dream and there are certain conditions that you may not be able to verify physically because they don't come with pain but you believe at the instance of god's word the power of god is touching that woman on purple help that woman i'm seeing like oil being poured on her Oh, madam, your life is about to change in a way that will surprise you. Jesus, the Son of God. Please pray strings for me. Take it higher. Listen, I used to watch this years ago in the meetings of Catherine Kuhlman, T.L. Osborne. And I would see these people would just come with childlike faith, Reinhard Bonke. And when they would teach, they would tell you, that Jesus is here and you would think it's a joke within minutes brothers and sisters you will see all kinds of miracles and I said God there has to be an explanation to this just like that and then I learned that it is not just like that 
when the anointing comes when you are frying palm oil in the kitchen women look up please you know what happens to that kitchen as soon as fire what happens sometimes the condition can be so harsh it does not speak to you but it will make you run out of that kitchen so if you are a demon for instance when the fire is applied and that kitchen is you there is something that that fire is able to do and it will make what was there help them to leave you see how deliverance happens yes just because a word is spoken be free be delivered no no it's not just a word speaking there there are innumerable company of angels the power of god moving from place to place what is the assignment to find out what is not consistent with the character of the christ we have called this a miracle service and the bible says everything adam called it that was the name thereof when jesus appeared to me and stretched his hands towards me i'm telling you i know the light entered me whether it entered through my head whether it entered through my chest i don't know don't ask how the power of god will get into your body <laughs> The power of God is not a needle. The power of God is not a tube that is passed through you. It can come in and begin to correct things. And that when it's time to testify, you will find yourself running to come and stand and say, Jesus, this really happened. How about conditions in your office? How about conditions in your bank account? How about conditions in your your life your family apostle we have tried and tried to build for seven years this house has refused to be completed i tell you there is a condition making that happen by the time god releases something upon you remember all blessings come from god i've taught you through man to man that is the dynamics like you hear people testify someone calls you even while service is going on and says where are you i don't know why i just feel like blessing you now you understand a condition reproach is a condition infirmity is a condition spirits merely enforce conditions that is the assignment in a human body or in an environment to enforce conditions conditions that create outcomes that negate the speakings of the word a miracle service therefore is a platform that allows the word of God in partnership with his power to move in the midst of his people and begin to correct conditions correction that can be scientifically proven spiritual in origin miracles are platforms where both science and faith agree let me repeat myself miracles are platforms where both faith and science agree faith says be healed science confirms that it happened to you faith says be delivered science confirms that it happens every true miracle must have a scientific expression because they are the two platforms that explain man and the occurrences in our cosmos faith takes care of the realm of the spirit and the supernatural science gives interpretation and meaning to what happens in our physical environment none of them is anti-god in itself it starts from the realm of the spirit light be and it manifests physically as light so the healing starts from the realm of the spirit and physically your life and your destiny your children physically like the dear ones who shared their testimony here can you imagine that one word just comes by the spirit and dear people of god look at this one word to a politician 
may God shift you and it will look like just a word until you see the forces that fought you begin to come and you will know that a condition has changed how about a businessman you're trying to do everything you know to do but there is a condition that authorizes both men and spirits to fight you my assignment tonight is to walk in partnership with the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit to engineer this transformation by turning the conditions in your life around and this by the grace of God will be faithfully done tonight are you ready please rise up on your feet just two prayer points and I'll begin to pray for you prayer point number one I'd like you to insist tonight please be intentional insist by way of prayer that these conditions the Bible says that the things that are seen are temporal but the things that are unseen are eternal lift your voice and begin to pray the things that are seen are temporal. The sickness that I see is temporal. The oppression that I see is temporal. Is someone praying? Take it out. Elamatoshi Araba Balagada Brodo Shekepa Elamo Sata de Roshika Ete Brekete Shepalado Zagaba Hallelujah Hallelujah The last prayer point Tonight it is I, I began to sense this even before I left for the miracle service in Zaria Just help those under the anointing already I sense that tonight God is not only visiting individuals but God is extending it even to families I began to sense that right from Wednesday or so that you see there are some of our family members that may not have the faith or the discernment to receive but God is using you tonight as an altar not only to speak for yourself but to speak for families are you ready to pray now lift your voice in one minute and say father not just me but everyone connected to me please pray not just me is someone praying outside pray online pray jesus the lifter jesus the healer jesus the restorer Hallelujah. 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 The final thing I would tell you is please be sensitive to divine instructions. You see, under the influence of the Spirit, there are many things that don't make sense. But in the childlikeness of the gospel, Romans 15 and verse 19, let that be the last scripture. Let me show you something. Paul is speaking to the church in Rome 15 and verse 19 it says through mighty signs and wonders and by the power of the Spirit of God oh dear it says that from Jerusalem and round about unto Illyricum I have preached fully preached the gospel of Christ so the gospel is not fully preached until there are miracles signs and wonders right now just before we pray just stand still everybody where you are no shouting no nothing i just want you to bring for me those who are under the anointing whether inside or outside just do what i'm asking you to do sing hallelujah Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing Christ is risen from the dead. 
Sing Christ is reason. Sing Christ is reason. Sing Christ is reason from the dead. Because I, I just I began to see angelic activities. Just moving across, inside and outside, touching people. And the Lord is giving me an instruction. Just bring the people out. Some of you, it's not just individuals. God is touching families, using individuals. This is a miracle service. Now, hold on, please. Hold on, please. Um, the Lord is opening my eyes, and I'm seeing like fire. I saw the number 43, and I'm seeing it come on people. And the Lord is telling me He is visiting foundations. That's what I'm hearing. Right now, I stretch my hands inside and outside. 43. In the name of Jesus. I don't know where they are, but I stretch my hands. Foundation. I've been visited by the Spirit of God. Negative found. Help them. Raise. Negative foundation. Negative foundation. Negative foundation. This is the place of encounter. Do to me what you want. Bring them out. This is the place. Of surrender. Do to me what you are. The word of God. This is the place where your life is changed. Do to me what you are. Hallelujah. Now, the Lord is showing me chains. I always see this in the miracle services. I'm seeing chains on the feet of people and the Lord is just asking me to stretch my hands and right now as I stretch my hands every chain chains of ancestry that has held anyone down bring them out I decree and declare right now chains be broken chains be broken chains be broken I bless the word of God upon your life upon your destiny chains be broken. Chains. Be broken. Parada balagaya. Eva kosi katana. Eliata. Eliata. Be broken. Eliata. Aremata. Eva kosi ate. Shala barakota. The Lord is still breaking chains. Chains are responsible for circles of retrogression. Retrogression. Nothing moving in your life. There are still more people inside, outside, following online. Anyone whose life has been stagnated. In the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Atmosphere, sheep now, chains be broken, break down, Holy Spirit, who now, heaven's open, heaven's Hallelujah. open. Who is Olua Kemi? Hold on please. I'm hearing a name Kemi, Olua Kemi. We have to be very fast tonight. God is visiting people. I'm hearing a name, Olua Kemi. I don't know who that is. Who is that? What's your name? Olua Kemi. What's your name? Olua Kemi. From where? From Oyo State. Oyo State. Where are you from? 
From Ogbomosho. Ogbomosho. Lift your hands and shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! That oppression leaves you now. Never to return to you. Help her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam. Hold on please. This woman. Please come. Bring her. Just be careful with the people with the my god tonight is a night of divine supernatural visitations hallelujah now please listen to me please listen to me you see the thing about the power of god is that he can step in in a moment moment who is silas I'm hearing Silas in my spirit. Silas. The Lord wants to break the yoke of retrogression and stagnation from that family. Silas. Please don't come out at random. Don't come out at random. We're organized people. This is a miracle service. Where are you from? Edo State. Huh? Edo State, sir. The person I'm talking about must be from Edo State. Where are you from? Edo State. Sir. Where are you from? Give him the mic. Come. Where are you from? Edo State. Edo State. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you, my friends. You believe in Jesus? Father, I'm praying for these people. All of these people, for that name, Olua Kemi, two of you, the power of God is coming on you now. I'll pray for everybody, but two of you are just on fire. Two of you, right now. The supernatural power of God is coming on you it's not something you can stand this is the word of god we're talking about the word of god here now in the name of jesus every oppression over every olua can help this woman so she doesn't fall on that bar please in the name of jesus madam i stretch my hands in the name of jesus right now i'm seeing light entering you let there be a, a miracle in your body right now now in the name of jesus christ christ I'm seeing the power of God come on someone. I'm not seeing the name, but I'm seeing honorable there. I know this must be a politician. Right now as I'm speaking, a supernatural power of God. The Lord is saying he's breaking something connected to foundations. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead. According to the word of the Lord, I decree and declare that everything connected to ancestry and even foundations please let them not just get up and move like that there is a reason why we ask them to come out it's not for show at all in the name of jesus let there be deliverance right now let there be deliverance right now the lord is ministering to me i'm seeing a family in total plus mother and father i'm seeing a family of seven you came here where are you come i'm seeing my left side the lord is telling me that they are from my left side here just somewhere here is there a family like that please come a family of in total seven this is what the lord is showing me do we have anyone like that please make sure they are correct don't we're not lying we're not faking it they came here let them come please break every chain break every chain break every chain i decree and declare over all of you here who have come out by the spirit every devil that will not let you go hear the word of the lord i declare by the rod of a higher priesthood at the count of three release their destinies now one two three go go now wherefore god had so highly exalted him and given him a name above every other name be delivered now be delivered now in the name of jesus christ please where is the family i spoke about just vet them let's be sure that hallelujah seven father in the name of jesus i pray for that family right now seven this is what i'm seeing i know what i'm seeing in my vision are they here let them stand here i will pray for everyone who has come but particularly yeah. 
family of seven where are they okay let me pray and then everyone who has come no problem you can join them father now out of her now help that woman out now in the name of Jesus release that family by the power of the Holy Spirit release them now in the name of Jesus someone remove the child if she's holding a child so please remove the child so she doesn't fall with the child we are here for you come and do what you do hallelujah where are you from sir if I stay, but we stay in Lagos. you stay where in Lagos sir. in Lagos. Lagos I want to pray for you these are all your children the family yes. father look at me I'm seeing your hands tied in the spirit and the Lord is saying to lose your hand this is another family that's all right I'll pray for them the one of your daughters is going to be used by God and the power of God is going to come on that person right now as I'm speaking father I don't know who that person is but in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God may that anointing that separates that consecrates and makes mighty may that grace rest on that one right now in the name of Jesus Christ and in the name of Jesus I cut you away from this delay in the name of Jesus Christ and for this other family that has come in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare madam where are you from this woman where are you from, from Kogi State. Kogi State. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you okay. say I shall not die I shall not die in Jesus name Jesus. one more time say I shall not die I shall not die I decree and declare because I'm seeing a coffin in the realm of the spirit you have been having dreams is that true Yes, and you see dead people in the dream yes, sir. sometimes you even see that you are the one who died yes, in the name of Jesus Christ the plague of death ends now yes. and I use that as a point of contact over everyone here if there is anyone under the sound of my voice that death is looking for you or your loved ones Shapakatos Ketepata in the name of Jesus be delivered right now be delivered right now be delivered right now Help them, please. Help the little one. Now, every family here represented, I stretch my hands and I declare, go forward in Jesus' name. Go forward in Jesus' name. Go forward in Jesus' name. Jesus name. There is a family that came from Kano. Where are they? I'm seen by the Spirit. The Lord is telling me there is a family that came from Kano. We have to be fast if there is such a family please let me know so that we can pray i'm seeing that they came from kano i want to pray for you right now i don't know if they're inside or outside kano i want to pray because we're going to step into a massive massive moment of deliverance strong deliverance that must separate you from and with anything please if you find that family let me have them here I just want to speak to them you came from Kano let me pray for them right now I'm not saying you are from there I'm saying you came from there let me pray for you hallelujah the overflow outside I want to pray for them the Lord is showing me something the overflow outside those outside I just want you to stretch your hand towards the screen I want to pray for you the Lord is revealing something to me right now the overflow outside can you help me camera I want to pray for them our media people let's work together please I'm, I'm just the Lord is revealing to me those outside the overflow outside Please stretch your hands. I want to pray for you right now. I'm seeing that the power of God is coming on certain people. I'm seeing the number 18. I'm going to pray for those inside. I don't know why God is ministering to those outside. But right now, those outside, at the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. And I want you to bring all the people under the anointing. Outside. Are you ready? One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Right now, I command those devils to leave. In the name of Jesus, 
in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost bring them outside right now I decree and I declare by the spirit that raised Christ from the dead my God I'm seeing yokes breaking breaking right now in the name of Jesus the Christ of God let there be miracles right now in the name of Jesus strong deliverances even for families in the name of Jesus the son of the living God let there be deliverance now those outside yokes are breaking 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 for those outside in the name of Jesus Christ now those of us inside at the count of three I want to pray for you now please pay attention it is true that there are spirits that oppress people it is true that there are spirits that sit upon the destinies of people and continue to sabotage the purposes of God mysterious occurrences in your life habits that you cannot stop patterns that cannot be broken are you ready now all the other overflows following online at the count of three I want you to shout that name Jesus that name that is above every other name as you shout that one who is oppressed every family under captivity under the sound under the sound of my voice as they shout that name exalted as both Lord and Christ let there be deliverance right now are you ready koinonia one two three shout Jesus, Jesus! release their destinies now please bring them out inside outside release their destinies now release their families now Hey, but take it, take it, take it. Help that woman, please. Release them now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Release them now. Please bring them. Bring all of them out. I'd like you to open your mouth in one minute and begin to declare, I am free from everything that ties me down. Please pray. Lift your voice and pray. Declare ye that thou mightest be justified. Are you praying? Are you praying? Don't be distracted. I declare liberty. I am free by the power of the Holy Ghost. All the overflows in the name of Jesus. Free. Every devil, every spirit in the name of Jesus, every spirit manifesting in your dreams, taking you back and programming things to your destiny. Right now, I declare fire at the count of three. One, two, three. Every devil from the dream realm, I cast you. Let them go now. Release your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is there anyone here by the name Ishaku? I'm hearing the name Ishaku. Is there someone with that name? Your name? Huh? What's your name? Daniel Ishaku. What's your name? Daniel Ishaku. Daniel Ishaku. Madam, is your name Ishaku? Hold on. Where's your son? You couldn't make it. What is his name? Ishaku. Where is he? I need to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, please, if that is your, not your name, please don't come out. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, according to the word of the Lord, I pray for you. Right now, a visitation comes not only to your life, but to your entire family. I stretch my hands towards you and I declare, be free now. 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 
in the name of Jesus Christ I bring you life I bring you freedom by the power that raised Christ from the dead in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ now the Lord is telling me he wants to help them please up the balcony the Lord is speaking to me there are families where it is the women that feed the men no matter how hard-working you are the husband is the wife and the wife is the husband practically speaking and it may not necessarily be because of laziness it's just a spiritual pattern that has destroyed people right now I'm praying anyone connected to such a family or such a condition right now the power of God is coming upon you and in case you are standing here and your loved ones are victims of that pattern it is the Lord revealing this to me in the name of Jesus Christ right now right now by the power of the Holy Spirit be delivered now be delivered now hallelujah now this is an interesting thing i'm seeing but let me pray it anyway there are people the lord is telling me it started from last year using the guise of the pandemic but it's not really about the pandemic you have been losing money consistently till now consistently whether you are in business or not money has been a gradual decline by the spirit of god we're not worshiping money here but if god gives a word on that wise we must respond to what he's saying i want to pray for you now because there are some of you altars have been activated using the guise of the pandemic you will be surprised to see what happens to you now father i am praying even as you have instructed me there are individuals here and there are families that this spirit has tied down the resources of the families and continues to bring them down right now let the power of God touch you where you are let the power of God touch you where you are let the power of God touch you where you are let the power of God touch you where you are let the power of God touch you where you are in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a very interesting revelation. This is for pastors. This word I'm about to give is for pastors. I'm hearing in my spirit that the seasons of retrogression, the seasons of delay, you are a man of God here, please listen, because something is about to come upon you. If there are people under the anointing at this word, I just wanted to bring them out. Right now, you are, you are in ministry here. The Lord is saying the powers that are holding you down, whether male or female, you are in ministry, missions, pastoral ministry. Right now, I decree and declare there is speed that is coming. May that grace come upon you right now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Help them, please. Take that grace now. No more delay. An unction is coming from heaven, changing your condition by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Reverend sir, the Lord is giving me a word for your wife. And the Lord is saying she's stepping into a new season of the prophetic and of favor. These two graces, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare right now, Madam, by the spirit of the living God and according to the word of the Lord, don't bring her out, just keep her there. Step into that season of the prophetic and activation of the grace and the gifting of the spirit upon your life and also of the season of favor in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing 11 people this is a vision i always see when god is speaking to me about promotion or increase i usually see men climbing ladders and i'm seeing 11 people the power of god is coming on them right now the lord is telling me that your lifting is a strange season you know i began to announce this from last year Please believe what I'm telling you. In the name of Jesus. Father, where are they? Whether in career, in business, in politics. Right now, take that grace. That grace that lifts. Take that grace. In governance and politics. 
take that grace in the name of Jesus you are climbing that ladder and no power will stop you in the name of Jesus Christ help this man please help honorable please hold him I speak to you again by prophecy that in the name of Jesus Christ for as many as I've seen some of you are in a season of promotion but as it is there are councils sitting down and there are voices that want to bring you down I stand by the grace God has given me help them please I push you now step into a new season I push you now by prophecy step into a new season this woman holding a phone i'm seeing fire coming on her this one holding a phone in front right now i don't know what it is but there is mighty deliverance coming for you and your family take that grace right now in the name of jesus christ i rebuke everything that is not of god let it release you and let it release your family in the name of jesus christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm hearing a name Jennifer my goodness there is such breakthrough coming for that family who is Jennifer don't tell lies please we are serious people here I told you by faith you can connect it doesn't have to be please let's so that there is a breakthrough because I'm seeing I just saw what looked like coals of fire on an altar and I just saw it being destroyed and I saw a door open this is what I saw in the name of Jesus Christ, Shadike Parakata, Lekete Brekete Kete Kotosko Topakata, Embrekete Katia. For this family, those of you standing in front right now, every altar tying your destiny down, Pares Kete Bekata, right now, no matter how long it has stayed, those in front here, fire is coming upon you. I set that altar now, in the name of Jesus, I set that altar right now on fire. He must let you go now i release your destiny i release your destiny everything holding your lifting it comes under judgment now madam this woman please tap that woman for me lift your hands the lord is saying your life is about to change now i release that grace upon you right now this unction from, if this week will not pass madam you will see the way God will turn help her please God is turning things around in the name of Jesus Christ you see let me tell you this there is a fearful side to God when he begins to move just like that he will turn things around just like that all of them out for the name that name I called ah huh? from Kano okay you are at the basement let me pray for them I'm going to pray for you all these ones that are out my dear that lady on maroon look at me shout Jesus as loud as you can go ahead Jesus! Jesus! I command that spirit to leave your family right now in the name of Jesus Christ now for all of you who are standing here I'm telling you fire is coming on you you came for a miracle service you don't you don't don't forbear with evil if you forbear with evil it will grow I pray for all of you right now fire from heaven let it come upon your life and turn your story around take that fire now take that fire now take that fire now take that fire now in the name of Jesus Christ for the family from Kano madam these are your children there are two i'm seeing two in the spirit where are they where's the other one in the name of jesus christ that's all right i pray for you look at me in the name of jesus christ everything that represents hardship we bring it under judgment now there is a family that i'm seeing a pattern of the death of men men in that family 
the Lord wants me to pray right now a pattern of death either male children male husbands male father just male figures just keep disappearing where is that family it's time for your breakthrough right now where are you coming from male just is like there is a spirit huh? where Bayelsa. where is that by Elsa who is this let me talk My to this woman in China she watches online in China yes, sir. she's watching now yes, sir. daughter connect I'm about to pray for you and pray for your mother madam you believe in the power of God yes, sir. I'm going to pray for you I'd like you to shout Jesus where you are go ahead shout Jesus, Jesus! right now I command this altar release this woman now help her release this woman now in the name of Jesus Christ where is this family I spoke about just a spirit that kills men please people of God look at this look at this for God's sake how wicked and devilish the devil is all your brothers are dead hold on please let me talk to this lady where are you coming from don't, don't cry how many of your brothers <laughs> two my two brothers they are all gone Those are the only brothers are my dad and your dad is gone yes. <laughs> you see the bible says how god anointed jesus look how many people are coming one word from god now imagine for god's sake that you leave these same people because it would destroy them and also destroy the male people who are here Please help them. They should be careful with that the, the metal stand. Osh, um, protocol, you should be able to help them on that. Please. Are you seeing what I'm saying? The stand here. Please. The ones in front here too. So they don't fall on it. Look at this. Now all of you look at me. You are standing here because you believe in the power of God. Lift your hands. I'm going to pray for you. Such fire will fall on you. And I'm telling you that altar. I don't care how long it is. But my Bible says, blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us. At the count of three, Father, I pray that every altar tying down and killing men. Are you ready? One, two, three. Take that fire now. 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 In the name of Jesus, I bring you deliverance now. The spirit and the altar that destroys men we bring you under judgment you are under arrest now you are under arrest now I release life to this family life to this family and hear me for some of you who the ones who left were the breadwinners of the family I pray may God raise someone else take that grace now may God raise someone else for some of you that someone else is you I place that mantle on your head now go and help your family go and lift your family you may not look like it but let this unction come upon you I, uh, I, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Many of you will come to testify here because doors will begin to open from one door to another door to another door. And as I'm praying for them, I'm praying for everyone too. That in the name of Jesus, hear me, hear me please. And believe what I'm saying if there is any family here that does not have at least one person lifted by god to be to help that family i stand by the god of my salvation right now at this august miracle service may god raise people in that family now may god raise people in that family now may god raise people in that family now i raise you by prophecy i connect you to destiny helpers in the name of jesus Please return to your seats rejoicing. We have to pray for the sick now.
I expect everyone to still be praying. Please don't be distracted. This is a very holy atmosphere and God is turning things around. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a grace. A grace. Hear me. I'm hearing in my spirit help and visibility. And this grace is coming on everyone but particularly those in the music ministry. This is what I'm seeing. Uh, maybe I worship team people. In the name of Jesus, help. Many of you want to move beyond this level. But I'm seeing that there are powers tying people down. Even though you are worshippers, I stretch my hands. Let me use our worship people as a point of contact. That fire comes on you now. From nowhere may help arise for you. And anyone here following online who is in the worship ministry, the ministry of psalmistry, I declare help arises for you now. Help arises for you now. Help them please. Help arises for you now. May the Lord give your ministry visibility. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now let's pray for the sick. If you came here trusting the Lord for a miracle, either for yourself or for someone you're standing in for. Some of you have already been healed with all the several ministrations. But right now, I want to minister particularly to the sick. If you came with someone, you can lay hands on that person now. Whatever the condition, remember what I taught you. The maker is also the changer. Please lay your hands. Any part of your body you're trusting God for a miracle for, please lay your hands. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. I want to pray for you right now. Believe in miracles. Some of you are standing in for your loved ones. Go ahead, stand in for them. And there are people following online. You're following from whatever TV station. You're following from the internet by way of social media. Please connect by faith. Jesus still heals. The Bible declares Jesus the same yesterday, today, and forever. Please connect with someone right now. I really believe in miracles. Did you know that there are people who connect every week from hospitals? I know there are people on sick beds right now connecting several hospitals across the world. This is because there is a healing Jesus and he does heal. He still heals. Now, three things will happen. Please listen carefully. One, I'm going to begin to pray to rebuke the spirits behind those infirmity and to administer the healing power of Jesus. I'll do that very fast. And then, number two, the moment I do that, be prepared to check yourself. Already there are miracles happening for those of you who came out under the anointing, you know, all kinds of spirits. Usually when they go, many supernatural things happen. The moment I pray for you, I want you to attempt to do what you could not do before. You find out inside, outside, all the overflows. You find out that there is a miracle that has happened to you. I'm going to request very quickly that you will make your way once we give the permission to, to come out either here or here. We'll have a few minutes to take some testimonies. And then whilst we're doing that, we're going to be um, getting our prayer requests ready. So at the same time, if you are yet to write your prayer request for those who are following online, please do well. You have a few minutes to make that happen. And those who are healed online, you can send in your testimonies immediately by way of our social media platforms. We'll do this very fast so that I now speak into your life. Please listen. Make sure you stay and receive the prophetic word. I need to speak over your life as we're entering what we know to be ember months. I don't know why, what is it about these months, but they seem to hold some mysterious tragedies for people. It takes the prophetic word that comes from scripture to build a system of immunity over your life and over your loved ones. Are you ready now? Please lay your hands. Let's pray. I believe in Jesus. I truly believe in miracles. I believe God heals. I believe he will heal right now. Just agree with me as I pray. The power of God is flowing right now. Just help those under the anointing. You don't have to bring them out. But do well to check yourself. 
if you're laying hands on someone do well to communicate the same instruction father in the name of Jesus you are the healer and you said in your name will cast out devils in your name will heal the sick I am praying right now every spirit that is back of the challenges that your people have been having all kinds of challenges I command those spirits to give way now I command those spirits to give way now right now let the power of the Holy Spirit begin to move from my left to my right from the front to the back from inside outside be healed now be healed now ulcers of all sorts be healed now yet now organ failure system failure let there be restoration now there is someone I don't know whether you are here or you are in a hospital following online you have it's like your kidney is damaged the Lord is giving you a brand new kidney now a brand new kidney now eye conditions of all sorts be healed now by the power of the Holy Spirit any kind of lump in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare all lumps go now all those who are on crutches wheelchairs or those who were carried on stretchers in the name of Jesus I bring you life be healed now every kind of bone condition back pain pains in your around your muscles your your abdominal region be healed right now in Jesus name there's someone who has what we know to be nose bleeding just like that for no reason blood starts coming out of your nose the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is showing me someone you have suffered a terrible affliction of skin infection you have tried to treat it and treat it and it looks like nothing is gone right now I'm praying for you you will know the power of God has touched you because the itching will stop instantly be healed in Jesus name there is someone's father also I'm seeing I don't know if it's a kidney kidney condition someone's father the Lord is healing that person right now in the name of Jesus Christ all forms of hearing problems be healed right now in Jesus name hotness in the body severe heat in the body be healed right now in Jesus name now there is someone no matter what you eat it's like you have a problem a unique problem of indigestion it doesn't matter what you eat you have this problem sometimes you even have to throw up what you are eating right now in Jesus name the power of God is touching you now all kinds of pain pain around your body be healed right now high blood pressure low blood pressure be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name there's someone the side just around your side here I don't know what particularly is the problem but around your side there has been you don't even sleep with that side you have to sleep on one side of the bed right now the power of God is touching you now in the name of Jesus any challenge with your shoulder your shoulder area right now the power of God is touching you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ all conditions of bleeding 
stops now. Stops now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know the name of this condition where people bite their tongue. It looks like um, this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing someone like shaking, convulsion. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command anyone, whether falling online in your room, you're having that condition, bringing injuries to yourself. It looks like an epileptic condition. Be healed right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, all those who are standing in for someone, if you're here, you're standing, I'm seeing people lifting phones, connecting their loved ones or x-rays or whatever it is. In the name of Jesus, let the power of God from here touch your loved ones right now. Touch your loved ones right now. Someone, you came here, you, are, you can't bend easily. As soon as I'm done praying for you, try to bend right now. You will see that the power of God has come upon you, granting you the ability to bend. In the name of Jesus, be healed in Jesus' name. Now, whether I mention your case or not, I speak to you in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Now, I want you to check yourself whether from the beginning of the service as you fell under the anointing or whilst I prayed, please check yourself. The moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you, i like you to shame the devil and wherever you are, I want you to run and make your way to either of the aisles here or there. There are doctors, there are medical people here to confirm you. Those who have been healed from outside or any of the overflows, please allow them come very quickly. While that is happening, everyone, please, I want you to be praying in the spirit in one minute go ahead all those who have been healed people are coming out are you celebrating miracles here please make your way to the front all the overflows quickly whether here or here are you praying while that is happening please let's just pray for a minute in the spirit as the medical people confirm them miracles are happening here jesus is healing my god are you seeing people coming? Miracles are happening. Miracles are happening. If it's for healing, please open the door for them. Let them come in. Outside all the overflows and you who are online, check yourself, check your family members, check your loved ones. The moment you find out there's a miracle, send us your testimonies right away. Don't be ashamed. Check yourself. The power of God has touched you. Make your way to the front quickly. While we pray in one minute, praying in the spirit. Ke paranda skata balaka to prosodo bakata. Ke da praise kati barosha dega deba lekatos. And the Lord walking with them, confirming the words with signs following. Now, Hallelujah. While while we are, we are preparing to take the testimonies, how many of you are here to submit your prayer request? Please lift it up there are officials who will be moving uh they should be at your left and right let's do well please ushers pr help them let's make it very fast those online you can now begin to send in your prayer request if you've not done that you were requested to do that in the course of the week but in case you are not done with that please write it immediately and send it um we're going to take a few testimonies and it'll be time for us to pray my god are you seeing people coming Look what Jesus is doing in this place. Learn to celebrate the mighty and the marvelous hand of God. Please let me know when you're ready so that we can have a few. Hallelujah. Okay, go ahead, sir. Praise God. Please come. Please Apostle, sit for a while while you submit your prayer request. Yes, Apostle, please. Apostle, this is Brother Nandi. For three months now. Cyprem. Cyprem. For three months now, he's been having a particular challenge. He's been having difficulty breathing. Yes. Serious pneumonia. Okay. Well, how, how, how long? over three months now. and right now what happened to you i feel very breath in and out any pain any pain in the name of jesus christ it will never return to you again by the power of the holy spirit you are healed now you are healed forever in jesus name let's celebrate jesus yes please apostle you gave a fantastic word of knowledge regarding someone with pain at the side yes absolutely madam so, oh she had her is, medical report yes let her talk 
just last week I've been feeling I've been feeling pain here. So where are you coming week, from? I came from Haraba. Okay. So last week I went for an abdominal um what uh, analysis. Yes. And they gave it to me. They said I have um something in my kidney that is enlarged or so to say I have impurities in it and growth too. Down here, those are the two things you mentioned. The moment you mentioned it, I don't know. Check I yourself now. Pain. Check I, yourself. I, Bend I down. Do Check any pain. No. Koinonia, are you celebrating Jesus? In the name of Jesus, madam, look at me. I cause that pain. The doctors have done their best, but let Jesus finish it up. In the name of Jesus, I bring you life and healing, never to return to you again. In Jesus' name, I pray. Yes, please. Mommy came here with a swollen in her chest that she has had difficulty in breathing. Is the mic working so that we hear it louder? Okay. She came with a swollen in her chest. Okay. So she had, had difficulty in breathing. How the long? The power of God came upon her. Mama, let, let her talk. Since 2009. My God. But the thing has been that if I go to the hospital, they will, they will say that I have a swollen in the heart. And they will show it to You me. have a swelling in your heart? In the heart, yes. Oh, they've shown it to you? Yes, they show it in the screen. When they, they will take the, the test and put in the screen and show it to me, I'll see where the swelling is, as if it is breathing. And it's making me to breathe fast. That is fast breathing. My heart will be beating fast. Uh, what happened fast. to you now? And immediately, you, you, the word of God came. The thing disappeared. The heat stopped. And the chest is no more. Come on, Koinonia. Are you celebrating Jesus? Mama, breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Any pain? No. What Jesus in action? Breathe in and out. Any pain? No. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands. You will go back to the hospital and science will confirm that the hand of God has touched you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help her, please. Let it never return to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, Apostle, please. he has been stammering since when he was born. One he has he been has stammering, stammering. Stammering. Stammering, yes, sir. Now he can speak French. My friend. Sir. Say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say Jesus is my savior. Jesus is oh, my come savior. On. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, these are his brothers. Hold on, hold on. Come, come, come. You know him. Give him the mic. Where's the mic? Yes, he's my brother. He's your brother? Yes. It's true he has been stammering. Yes, sir. My goodness, my God. Hey! The wonder-walking power of Jesus. Stammering from... Look at me. Let the devil hear you. Give him the mic again. Say after me, say in the beginning. In the beginning was the word. Was the word. And the word. And the word was with God. Was with God. And the word. And the word was God. Was God. Sit down for a few minutes. Yes, sir. Wow. Please settle down. Yes, please. Apostle, this is amazing. Please. Go ahead. Okay, so six years ago, I... Hold on, please. Hold on, please. About six ah, years these ago. are all testimonies. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, dear. Okay, let's go ahead. So, I had this accident. Uh, it really affected my back then. You had an accident? So bad. Yes, sir. When was that? Over six years ago. Uh-huh. There about so just even before the prayer uh, began i was very specific about that back pain I what couldn't you do it before was there it was there like if, if i try to turn like it will pain you it, twist I have now a sharp pain. twist now let the devil see you accident six years bend down bend down any pain bend down any pain everything that has gone out of joint in your life in the name of jesus May my God, who is also your God, bring it to alignment now. My brother, it will never return to you again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, you, you gave a word of knowledge about back pain. It's been a pattern among men in my family. Like my dad always, he always complains of back pain. And I noticed the moment I got married, the back pain started. So I have issues bending down, usually even doing chores. And right now. And right now. Bend down. Gone. Let the devil see you. Any pain. Any pain. Ah. 
This man is physically fit. Oh. You can see him doing this. Listen. We use you as a point of contact to speak to all the men in that family. A new season comes for you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. So, Apostle, we're having back pain. Healing of back pain. Hmm. Several conditions. Amazing. Amazing. Wow. Can you imagine? Maybe some of these people there, eh? why don't you move some of them here? Um, protocol, just they can follow and come here so that we'll make it faster. Okay, all of you back pain. I like to, madam, sir. you're heavy and you had back pain. Yes, the sir. devil is very wicked because he knows for that. For one year. Huh? For one year. It's You've actually, been pregnant for one year? No, like the, the pain. And then um, I had this cold last year. I even went for x ray. So they found nothing. But I, I just kept feeling pains all over my body. Before you prayed, I already felt like I could actually turn right now without feeling the pain. When are you due? December. December. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will give birth to our koinonia baby with joy like the Hebrew women. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Madam, hear me. No complication whatsoever. Amen. You believe that? Sir. That you will go to the hospital and within minutes you are done. Amen. I remember one time a woman called me. You know, I pray for many people at the point where they will give birth. She went out, she strolled, she came back. She couldn't dilate, nothing will happen. She lay down there. They, at a point, they said they were going to induce her, or you know, all these medical terms and the woman was tired and her sister now played one koinonia prayer and then while it was happening I don't know one thing led to the other she just decided to take a step of faith to send the text and I picked the call and I could hear her you know ah, may God bless women no. I could hear the, you know what happens there when you are that you know the woman was screaming all kinds of things and I said put the phone on loudspeaker and honestly, it was like the hand of God just came on me. And I said, baby, you are not a cause. You, are, you, are, you came from heaven. God is my witness. I lie not. It did not take up to five minutes. That woman just gave birth like that. It's possible the woman may even be here or maybe she's following online. Listen, you see, as God begins to help us, we must start transiting in our understanding and our beliefs to believe that there are actually certain things that should not happen to us again. I'm not saying there's anything wrong if you go through any kind of thing, but I'm saying there is a more excellent way. And even while you help yourself and manage, your, your eyes must be fixed on God's best. Madam, just like I shared, I pray for you that in Jesus' name you will give best safely. God bless you. God bless you in Jesus' name. Yes, please. Sir, there are cases you gave word of knowledge of those with shoulder pain. Shoulder pain. Shoulder pain. How many of you, sirs? There are about four here. He has had the shoulder pain for like six years. What happened to you? I play football, so I fell on it for like six years now. Football? I yes, sir. I hardly sleep here. I hardly raise my hand up. I even came in with the excruciating pain. Lift as it up now. Lift it up. Any pain? Any pain? Do you still play football? Yeah, I do, sir. May you not fall down again. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. About four of them, the same condition. Shoulder. I stretch my hands over you, and in the name of Jesus, let there be perfection for you. Right now, in Jesus' name. Yes, please, very quickly. Five abdominal cases. Abdominal case. Abdominal that cases. woman is left. And I went for it scan. was swollen. Yes, this is the scan result. Uh huh. And I went. Oh, you went. That's the scan result. Yes. Okay. All what did the, they say was wrong all with you? The medications. They couldn't see anything, and I, this thing keeps on swelling, and that is how I am emaciating. As the stomach is burning me, I'm emaciating. No matter uh, what I eat, no matter the. What happened to you now? As I fell under the announcing. And when I woke up, I checked myself. I discovered it was it has gone. Completely. Yes. There are about five of them here. In the Same name of Jesus, I use you, madam, as a point of contact to all of the rest. In the name of Jesus, this healing remains perfect in your body. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you. Yes, sir. Apostle, we need to hear this. Go ahead, sir. Sir, uh, 
ulcer I've been suffering as loud as they say we need to hear it also you I've you been talk. suffering from ulcer 22 years 22 when I, years yes, when I contested a councillor in 19 you are uh, a politician yes sir okay so you contested then, councillor yeah from when then, uh, 19, uh, 1999 from there okay I started having this ulcer it will come and go I hardly fast so even this afternoon, I came in with the pain. I forced myself to fast. And right now? And now it's gone. Completely gone? Yes, I'm feeling it through my back. The pain is gone? Yes, it's gone. I'm not Are you still in it. politics? Yes, sir. I like politicians, though. Thank you, sir. Can I pray for you? Yes, sir. Are you occupying any position now? No, sir, but a former councillor. Former councillor? Yes. What state? Adam State, sir. Can I pray for you? Yes, sir. You believe in miracles? Yes, sir. Father? In the name of Jesus Christ, there is a kingmaker anointing. There is a grace that enthrones. So that God will find people in positions of authority, I pray for you from the depth of my heart. May God connect you. You don't have to, there is selection and there is election. I pray that God will call people to select you to a position that provides a political leverage for you. That grace speaks for you now. In the name of Jesus and for your healing may the Lord perfect it now in Jesus name yes can we hurry up very quickly there is a very mighty miracle here okay he has had kidney challenge in fact he came kidney to Abuja. yes you mentioned the case he came to Abuja to come and do kidney transplant he does uh, dialysis let, let him let him talk to me he said he could not talk but oh he could not talk talk now Yes, on January 19th. My February, God, my God, my God. When we came here, Watch this. Let's hold on, please. Let's listen for a moment. Yes. On 19th January, we came to Abuja for kidney transplant. So I was at Zene Kidney and Medical Center on July 2nd, is when they get a matching donor, but there is no money to do the dialysis. Before I came here, I cannot walk fast. And I can't breathe because I'm choking. So while you are praying for the sick, immediately you say those that have sick stem fell. I fell under the anointing. Hey. I got up. I was breathing very well. And I My friend, instead. look at me. Run. Run. Ah. Run. Apostle, this is our elder sister. This is a sister. This, this, is a sister. this is the elder sister. Hold on. You are his elder sister. You are the younger sister. Yes, sir. You you confirm that what he's saying is true. Yes, sir. I can with you. Breathe in and out. God of vengeance has won my battle for me. God of miracles won my battle for me. I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man. He has won my battle for me. What's your name? Hold on. What's your name? Because the Lord is saying it is your name. The meaning of your name is what has followed you. Amen. What's your name? Akachuku, Akachuku. That is hand of God. Hey! Listen, the hand of God. My friend, I pray for you that in the name of Jesus, the Christ of God, we declare your kidney brand new now. Brand new now. Brand new now. I'm a winner man, a winner man. I'm a winner man, a winner man. Hallelujah. There we have a few minutes for this. Of back pains here, but this one is very, very peculiar. Yes, please, disc, very quickly. Disc degeneration, disc degeneration. Oh, disc. Yes. I'm so not a doctor, back. but I know that is a very serious thing. Very painful. You see? No accident, no falling. The disc just started degenerating, so it could not bend very well. Now My brother, how long has this been? Since 2019. Since 2019? Yes, sir. Medically confirmed. Yes, sir. This I, did digi a, I did a MRI in Kano. Come. Bend down. Ah. Hey. I'm a winner, man. I'm a winner.